we're making Smarties cookies today and you may be thinking those are not Smarties and you were right, but they taste pretty similar so that's what we're gonna make. And they say to blend it up in a blender. We're not gonna be doing that. If you want it to be like flour, then maybe actually use real technology like the blender. So I'm just gonna add the candy into the flour and then we're gonna add our butter and sugar. Now I'm supposed to add the egg, vanilla, and corn syrup. Can't add half an egg, so I'm doing an egg replacement, which is baking soda and vinegar. So fun fact there, it should be a good replacement. We'll see. And then I don't have corn syrup, so a good replacement or substitute is honey, and, and that's a one-to-one -one substitution. I did have vanilla, so that's an easy one. Let's go ahead and add in the final ingredient, which is salt, and then we're just gonna mix around. Once you feel your cookie dough is sufficiently mixed, go ahead and place it onto your baking or parchment sheet. Before you bake, you're supposed to chill them in the refrigerator. I don't really know if that makes a difference, but I don't want to wait that one to two hours chilling in the refrigerator. Like, I want to try this one. My patience is thin today. We're just gonna make them, see how it comes out. 13 minutes later, details here. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, it's not overly sweet. The inside is very soft. The top may be a little bit crunchy. The inside's very soft and fluffy. All the substitutes worked really well. It's almost like a cake cookie. Wow, this was a 10 out of 10. I'm not even sure if it's the recipe necessarily or if it is the, all the substitutes that we made to this and the way. It's fruity, it's tangy, it's so soft. It's a cake cookie. Oh. And you don't have to spend a fortune on eggs! Well, at least eggs are cheaper now.